Hi everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at the MXR bass envelope pedal. Envelope filters produce a sort of wah-wah sound and they're really helpful to produce some seriously funky bass lines. I'll explain a bit about the controls on the pedal first and then I'll play through it with some different settings. First we have a dry control on the pedal and this enables you to select how much of your original bass tone you want in the overall sound. More dry signal will help you to cut through in a live gig situation because without that um, your bass sound really is a bit too thin. So if I take all the dry out and have just effect. Sounds kind of cool but it's very thin. If I now put dry I'll put, put it at 12 o'clock. Already it's much fatter, and if I put that full, you can hear a lot of the original bass sound there. So I'll put that back to 12 o'clock. Then we have the FX control, and this controls how much of the envelope filter effect you want onto your bass sound. So again, I'll play that at 12 o'clock. And I'll turn that all the way around. You can hear a lot, of, a lot more of the effect sound there. So I'll put that back to 12. On the second row of the knobs, we've got the decay control, and this controls the width of the sweep. So I'll put that to naught first. And then I'll turn that up. That's that full. sound there that's on full. Next the Q control this adjusts the intensity of the effect so on that's at 12 o'clock this is at full this is on naught and again I'll turn it up Last of all we have the sensitivity control and this changes how hard you have to hit the bass to get the effect to come through. So if it's on full then you only have to lightly tap and you'll get an effect. I'll turn that to naught. I'll turn that to 12 o'clock. So with this telly bass, I have to hit it really hard. So for the telly, I prefer that all the way around. But you can adjust that depending on your bass. If it's quite hot, if it's got a preamp, you probably want to knock that down a bit. There are a few presets that come in the manual for this pedal, and I like one called Bubble Funk. Um, so that's got the following settings. So it's got dry at 10, effects at four, decay at 10, Q at two, and sensitivity at five. So I'll put a picture up now to show you what that looks like. And this is what it sounds like. So that's a good starting point and we can change stuff. So if I put the decay up again, so I'll put decay to about three o'clock. I'll put the Q back at, well I'll put the Q up full. Well hopefully some of that information was useful to you and hopefully now you know what this pedal is capable of doing. It can be great to combine this pedal with other pedals as well. So for example if you put it after an octave pedal you can get a really great effect.
In my opinion, this is a really fun pedal for an MXR and there's lots of options to play about with. If you like this video, then check out my other pedal reviews. You can find them here on YouTube on the gear review playlist or on my website, gregspaceshed.com on the video page. I bring out a new video every Friday, um, so make sure you subscribe pressing the red subscribe button. I've got loads of bass video lessons on YouTube and my website, so take a look around and you might find something that's useful. On my website, you can also join my free members area and the link to that is below in the description along with many other useful links and information so go and have a look at that. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. I'll see you in the next video.